What is up guys, Sawchasm here and today I have for you guys a 141 and 2 gameplay playing some ground war domination on the map turbine using the MSMC with my standard setup of the silencer extended mags and I know I've been using the MSMC a lot recently along with the PDW but this is one quick tip that I'm going to give you guys, find a setup that you feel comfortable with, you know first you want to experiment and find what guns you feel comfortable with, what setups you like, you know whatever you're liking and then stick with it, you know after you experiment and try some different things then you want to just use what you already know what you feel comfortable with and then start actually you know practicing to get good at the maps get good at the games get good at get good at the game okay get, get good at the games yeah you want to practice to get good at all the different games that are on this game I meant the game modes all right and here's a quick tip I just crouched real quick I I predicted that that guy was gonna have a bouncing Betty there before I even went in there because you know usually if you see somebody camping in the window there's a good chance that they're gonna have a bouncing Betty a claymore or something and it doesn't really hurt especially if they're facing the other direction you know they're facing outside the window and they won't be able to see you as you're walking in then it definitely doesn't hurt to just crouch as you're walking in so right here, I pretty much outplay this guy. I aim down sight and either wait for him or if, you know, he comes back behind me, I see him on the radar like I do here. So he pretty much had no chance. And this is my first swarm of the game and also my first load star. I believe I get three load stars in this game and my swarms and load star went absolutely MC hammer in this game. It was ridiculous. I got one of my load stars you'll see coming up. It actually got me to my second load star, so that was pretty cool. And on an open map like Turbine, I definitely recommend using the kill streaks that I'm using here. I'm using the Orbital VSAT, the load star, and the Swarm. Now, usually I swap out the load star in this setup for the dogs, but that's good for like closed closed areas or just places where there's a lot of buildings. But on the map Turbine, there's really only two main buildings. So it's really, really hard for them to take cover. And it's as you can see here, the low star just does so much work. It's ridiculous. And I really don't think the gameplay would be even close to this caliber had I used the dog's kill streak. So, you know, you want to make adjustments as you see fit. And um, I don't know, my buddy, the kill show, he has actually gotten a low star before and it's brought him to his other low star. He should have got his other low star, but instead he didn't get it. So I'm not sure if that was a glitch or it's intended that if you are in a kill streak and that kill streak gets you another kill streak that you're not supposed to get it. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below if, wh whether that's a glitch or not or it's intended to do that. So, but I did actually, I was one kill off my next low star. So then I just came back and this guy was like AFK by me and I killed him. Or he was like searching, he was like scavenger hunting and he couldn't find me. So yeah. And uh, pretty much at this point I'm just trying to play safe. Help my kill streaks. I know that they're helping me get my next kill streaks. So pretty much I need a couple kills to get the next set of kill streaks. And pretty much that's how many times did I just say pretty much? I pretty much just said pretty much about like 90 times. Pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. Pretty much. Okay, I just had to get them all out of my system. Okay, so now it's good. I'm not going to say that P and the M word for the rest of the video. Pretty much. Ha. Anyway. <laughs> so the uh, the first round was, you know, in this game, there are some games where I just go absolutely beast in one round and then the next round I don't do anything. But in this game, it was kind of more of a balance thing. You know, I got like around 70-ish kills on both rounds. So it was pretty, obviously pretty balanced and I didn't really do better in either of the rounds in my opinion and overall I think this is a really really good gameplay right there was probably my biggest mistake I should have should not have attempted to reload which is what I did there I should have just waited aim down sight and you know expected that guy because I did get a glimpse of him on the radar a little couple seconds before so that's a quick tip you know if you are killing a guy and there's an enemy close by the, uh, close to his teammate there's a good chance that he's gonna try to investigate he's gonna try to see what's up you know what it is that killed his buddy so you should expect him to be approaching you soon so I should just aim down sight there and I probably would have been able to kill him and remained with a 141 KD instead of you know dying twice in this game which is what happened but still a good gameplay nonetheless I do end up with a bunch of you know flag caps defense and all that and I did play the objective relatively well so overall I am happy with the way this game turned out so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy feel free to leave a like rating i would truly appreciate it let's try to get 800 likes that would be amazing but as always if you hated it be sure to dislike it please leave a comments and i'll subscribe thanks for watching